who was Vanessa the stylist. Well, my name is Vanessa. A lot of people call me Vanessa because they don't notice the A, which is fine. I actually even call myself Vanessa. I've been called Vanessa so much. So yeah, you might meet me and I might say, hey, my name is Vanessa. Depending on how I feel, I might be like, my name is Vanessa. Depending on how I feel. Um, that comes from, long story child, me being rebellious towards my mom, but that's over with. So yes, it is Vanessa. Um, I'm from South Florida. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I've been licensed for about four years now. Yeah, 2015. Yeah, I've been licensed for about four years now. I finished hair school December of 2015. It was a long journey. It was definitely a long journey for me. Um, it actually took me two years to finish a one-year program. Not saying that I went to the school for the whole two years. It was just that I would start, do two months, leave, come back, do another two months. At the time, my dad was kind of sick, so that was like my main focus. But his main focus was for me to actually become a licensed cosmetologist. We're supposed to open a hair salon slash dollar store. That doesn't even match, but my dad just thought that was a good idea. But my dad did pass away in September of 2014, but I did continue to actually go to hair school, and that's what actually pushed me to finish. I actually did finish, and I got my license in 2015. Well, I actually went and took the state board. The school actually had to chase me like, hey, when are you going to go take your test? When are you going to take your test? It was just so much going on. But, um, yeah, I've been doing hair since I was in about middle school. Uh, one of my good friends, one of my homegirls from the block, had taught me how to braid. Back then, we used to call each other cousins. Child, that was my cousin. She had done taught me how to braid. And the hair journey started from there. Um, well, it probably started from before then. Because I remember my dad buying me a, a brat's doll head for Christmas when I was in like elementary school and I was like I begged him for that you remember back then they used to play the commercials so I actually begged him for that and he got it for me so yeah the hair journey definitely started from elementary school but my homegirl did teach me how to braid in middle school matter of fact shout out to her shout out to Julianne she's still the rawest braider I'm from a city where they support popularly blah, blah, blah. I'm from a city where they support popularity and not quality, but she's very talented. Like, she can braid. Also, my cousin Nicole, shout out to my cousin Nicole. She braid too. She taught me how to braid. Oh, yeah, that was in elementary school. Me and Nicole used to be playing and braiding. What Julianne taught me how to do was those kinky twists, because when we was in middle school, the kinky twist had that came out where you actually braid a little bit and then you double twist all the way down. So, shout out to those ladies. You know, can't forget where you came from. Those ladies did teach me a thing or two. They probably didn't even know they taught me something. Ha! Shout out to y'all. Love about doing hair, it's like the person's head is a blank canvas and you can just paint whatever artwork that you would like. I know it sounds so cliche that I'm comparing hair to art, but that's actually my art. That's what I like to do. So, yeah. Definitely, that's what I like about doing hair. I love natural hair as well. I love treating natural hair because we have a tendency of getting these wigs and these extensions and we forget about our natural hair. Up under here, baby, um, my sealies are real um, real thick, nice long, no heat damage. But that's because I use castor oil. And that's another thing as well. My culture actually plays a big role in, you know, how I care about hair or what I like to do to hair and things like that. Cause you know, like growing up, my grandma would grease my hair three times out of the week. No, I got it wrong. Every three days she would grease my hair. Like no matter if I had braids, plaits, whatever it was, she would grease my hair and she actually would grease my hair with a grease that she made herself. But you know, the main thing, if she didn't have grease, she would always grease my hair with castor oil, castor oil from Haiti, which is what I actually sell now. Um, I have bottles of castor oil. I also have them wholesale about a gallon for stylists. I get it directly from Haiti. It actually gets spun by an old lady that's right in front of my grandmother's house. So, yeah, it's not cut. It's pure castor oil. And that's the reason why I prefer to do a hot oil treatment with the castor oil from Haiti. Because if you're Haitian, you know how Louis Moschetti smell. Sorry for my Americans. Louis Moschetti is castor oil. 
So, you know, the Haitians, y'all know how Louis Moschisi smell. So that's why I do a hot oil treatment with it. And then once I do that hot oil treatment, I go ahead and wash the client's hair. Because, girl, you can't be laid up with no dude smelling like that. Pillow smelling like mm. No, I definitely wouldn't recommend that. So that's why I do a hot oil treatment with it as well.